The first economic duty of the government is the stability of the system. And I've said we'll do whatever it takes to ensure the stability of the British financial system. And that's why we've taken action to bring Bradford and Mingley into public ownership. Uh, we've sold uh, assets to Santander, and we've done so in such a way that protects the interests of the depositors, but also, everybody can see from the details now, protects the interests of the taxpayer. And ensuring the stability of the system means that we allowed uh, Lloyd's TSB to take over Halifax Bank of Scotland. We intervened to deal with share speculation in the market, and we will continue to do whatever is necessary over these next few days in very difficult times, turbulent times around the world, to make sure that the British uh, stability, for which we have uh, done a great deal over these last few years, is maintained. Uh, and that's why the actions have been taken in the way they have. And what do you say to those people who say it's not the job of government to intervene? The stability of the system comes first. Um, every mortgage holder, every saver, everyone who's running a business, everyone who's in work, everyone who's got bills to pay knows that you need a stable financial system to do that. And I think everybody will see that we've taken decisive action at all times. Decisive action on Halifax Bank of Scotland, decisive action on stopping speculation and short selling, decisive action now over uh, Santander and the bid uh, for Bradford and Bingley and all the other measures that were worked out over 48 hours over the weekend. And we will work night and day to make sure that Britain can come through fairly this downturn, which has started from problems in America, is now affecting the whole of the uh, system and is causing anxiety and insecurity amongst people in the country. And my job is night and day to work for the stability of the system.